What's up guys, Jordan Patton here with a brand new NASCAR Diecast review and today we're going to be looking at one of the most odd um, race win versions that I have ever seen or had and that is Kyle Larson's 2019 uh, Clover Dover win and um, yeah let's just go ahead and get right to it and yes I smirked when I said Clover Dover win but let's go ahead and get into the 360 of the car and we got plenty of problems we're not really problems, but mistakes, I guess, inaccuracies that we're going to go over. Uh, it's a very nice scheme. I really like this car. This was a playoff win. Last year, I had pretty much all my drivers win a race, except for Bubba Wallace, but that's okay. This is the first time I think I had all my drivers win in, uh, in a while. So, there's a 360 of the car. So, let's get to the details. So, first off, we got Chevrolet, we got the number 42, Z01, and Chip Ganassi, but if you notice, this is completely clean. There's no dirt and grime whatsoever on the front of this car. And, um, it's like that all over. I believe the render, we'll look at the render when we look at the box, has dirt and grime on it, but there is none. It's non-existent. Um, so on the hood, if you can see it, it says Clover. And, um... What they really messed up on bad as well, and shout out to Bushwhack Bushwhacker Reviews for pointing this out to me, pretty much from what it looks like, all the golden confetti should have been black, and the ones that were black should have been golden. I don't know how they messed that up, but they did. Um, of course, you have, oh, I guess I ought to try to open the hood and show you the engine detail if you care to see it. There is the engine detail, and underneath the hood, we just have the Chevrolet bow tie. And we got the playoff banner. We have Monster Energy and the two green uh, Chevy bow ties. Well, the Chevy bow ties aren't green, but you get what I mean. We have the number 42 and Clover on top. The roof flaps do open. We have Larson somewhere there. Uh, the DIN number is on the bottom of the car because there's so much confetti. Nothing on the deck lid. We got the green playoff spoiler. I'm very interested to see what the playoff cars look like this year, if they do anything special at all. We got Clover, Clover. We got the number 42, ZL1, and Camaro on the back. And on the side of the car, again, no damage or dirt whatsoever. We got Credit 1. We have Clover. We have the American Ethanol Ring. Nothing on the seat post, but you do have that elongated uh, Chevy SS uh, quarter glass that they, you know, they really changed the quarter glass for this car. And on the B post, we have Monster Energy, Cessna, uh, Clover, Freightliner, and Coca-Cola. And we do have the winner sticker that he slapped on there haphazardly. We got Kyle Larson in the American flag. We have the round of 12 A post contingency. We have the playoff contingencies. And then we have their weird thing they started doing where they started putting some more of their contingencies on the left front quarter panel. Or not the quarter panel, I guess the middle of the car instead of the traditional in front of the left rear wheel or right rear right rear tire we got Siemens we have I always forget what that K is I have heard it in other reviews but I'm sorry I don't remember what it is I gotta really start paying attention we got Lincoln Welders and Sharon Williams we have McDonald's Arch and oddly enough the tires also they have kind of the tires kind of have damage they definitely look raced um, so that's also awkward. We're not awkward, just kind of odd. So on the right side of the car, pretty much the same as far as sponsors go. We got plenty of confetti in the tires, but no damage. You know, not even not even a blackened exhaust on the um, side skirt. So very odd. And let's see underneath the car. This is number 518 produced. So there's that. If you care to see it. Let's take a quick look at the box and we'll also look at the render while we're at it. Of course, we got our standard 2019 race winner box, which I've gone over quite a few times. But here's the render of the car. Try to get the light over here so you can see it a little bit better. And the render does look like there is some dirt, and the render is correct as far as. Actually, just kidding. The render still has the golden, the uh, confetti wrong. Got 2019 Dover Delaware winner. So it doesn't look like there's. There, it looks like there is some dirt and grime on the render. Can't really see it through here. 
but yeah. Of course, let's take a look. There's a window box, render of the car, 19 action collectibles, the 2019 schedule. It's a little clear piece, it's not staying on, so let's get that out of the way. And of course, this is 576, so I got a, one of the last ones produced. Standard finish, the race winner sticker, and our legal stuff on the bottom. So very odd, very odd indeed. I'm, I, I had to get it because this could be Kyle Larson's last win. I hope it's not. Uh, oh yeah, we do have our trinkets that came with it. There is the winner card, Kyle Larson, Dried in 400 winner. You can look at that real quick if you'd like to. And on the back, you have Larson Triumphs on the Concrete Mile. You can read that if you want to. And of course, we have our race winner sticker. No confetti. I, I think they've stopped putting confetti in the race winners. I haven't had one that has had confetti in a while, which kind of sucks. The confetti always made it really cool, but um, yeah, so there you go. I meant to review this when I got it, um, but I actually put it in the case without thinking about it, and I don't like opening my case, uh, but I went ahead and did it because I think a lot of people are interested in seeing if they want to get this car or not, so I thought I'd give a pretty good review on it. I think it's cool. Uh, it's not accurate. Um, it may be Kyle Larson's last win. I hope it's not. I hope he gets another shot. Let's forgive and forget. He's a human. He messed up. I think he's had his punishment. He's out on the dirt track tearing it up. Um, I think he... I really think it shows how good of a driver he is because they put Matt Kenseth in it and he has, let's be honest, underperformed. I'm not sure if it's because they're still using Kyle's setups and not setting up to Matt's. I don't know. But, yeah. But anyways, that's pretty much it for this review. If you enjoyed it, please leave a thumbs up and subscribe. That would be awesome. You can follow me on my social media accounts. On Instagram, it's jpat underscore diecast2. And on Twitter, it's jpat underscore diecast. So thanks for watching. Have a great day or night, wherever you may be. And we'll see you on the next one. Peace out, guys.